All right, so I'm gonna go over my settings, um, every part of my settings that I use on Cold War. Uh, these, these, the setting that I have for the graphics, especially, is probably the best way to get the most FPS. I don't think on PC, of course. Um, I don't think uh there is any other, anything else you could do. Uh, in the graphics setting to increase your FPS, other than you know changing, like a whole component in your PC. Uh, so let's just get right into it. So I'm obviously on keyboard and mouse. Uh, I honestly didn't touch any, any of this. So whatever you see here is default. Um, I just never felt like I needed to. So since it's default, I'm not going to go to detail because it is literally the way that the game had it. Um, same thing for the gameplay. And then the keybinds is its personal preference. So whatever you guys want to do. You can do um, the gameplay controls are also default. Now graphics, this is where people are most interested. Uh, so my display mode is obviously full screen. I don't think anybody plays on anything other than full screen. Uh, I guess multi monitor, maybe. I'm not really sure. And then my refresh uh, rate is 120. I actually have a 144 hertz monitor, but I don't think my my computer, um, my PC supports 144. So the max refresh rate I get is 120. Uh, I would recommend 120 or higher uh, for the refresh rate if you're playing on PC. If you have anything under 120, it's not the worst thing, but it would definitely be better if you have 120 or higher. Uh, I disable VSync, disable menu VSync. That's not needed at all. I play on HD, so 1920 by 1080 or 100 on the scale. Obviously, this game is compatible all the way up to 4K. Display resolution is also 1080p. Aspect ratio 16.9. Uh, you can kind of use what you want here. I like 16.9. It's what I'm most comfortable with, so I use it. Field of view is 105. Uh, I believe default is 80. Um, default was okay, but I definitely prefer 105. ADS field of view, I use affected. Brightness, that's up to you. Um, Frame rate limit unlimited, and then it'll just lock out the next two. And then I don't really care if my game is minimized, what's the frame rate limit, so I just leave it at 60 because that really doesn't matter. Um, texture quality is lowest, model quality is low, and then special effect quality is medium, screen space reflection. So, screen space, screen space reflection is it will allow seeing a real reflection of in-game graphics when looking at a certain angle on some reflective surfaces. I just use low. Um, you could use high if you want. I don't think you really need to. Object view distance is low. This is the like the one setting where you could use a higher setting if you want to. I really didn't see much of a difference or at least the difference didn't affect me in-game so I use low. And then Volumetric lighting is low. Uh, volumetric lighting is quality of sunbeam and light beam effects. So that's one thing that I would put on low because you don't want bright maps. Uh, it will affect your eyes and you know you won't be able to be able to see as much or see properly. So it's just one of those things. Shadow quality is low. Dynamic shadows is all. Special effects shadow is dis disabled. Weapon shadow disabled. Basically, you don't want shadow, like you want to get rid of it. Ray tracing, sun shadow disabled, local shadow disabled, ambient occlusion disabled, anti-aliasing disabled, disabled, disabled motion blur, low motion blur quality. If I could switch this off, I would. Um, subsurface scattering is enabled. Subsurface scattering is simulates light that's absorbed and diffused when passing through different materials. Enables subsurface scattering for more realistic rendering of human faces. So if you don't care about realism, you can disable this. I obviously don't have it disabled, so I don't know how it plays, but mine is enabled. Order independent transparency is disabled. Um, so the VRAM usage target, I hit 70% because I don't want my VRAM to be going on the higher 30%. Uh, I really don't like to push my computer to the max. So, um that's totally up to you i use low display gamma is srgb 
display adapter that's my gpu so you just select the gpu you want and then the shaders it seemed to be just a one-time thing when i first started the, playing the game the first time and then it just didn't do shaders again so that's the graphic setting that that's essentially what people care about the most um i got rid of music volume because the music is very loud and very annoying i put the sound effects on low because it was genuinely scaring me i should have put this down as well the dialogues can be annoying especially when they constantly keep calling spy plane over and over again um you have different audio presets there's treyarch mix flat and then a bunch of others um yeah it's up to you guys what do you guys want to do i like the hit marker sound effect so i'll leave that enabled um i disable voice chat because i it's just a, it's just a call of duty culture it's very um toxic so i don't really care for that and then this is obviously the headphones that you want the game to game sound to go into and everything else is essentially locked this is all preference so you guys can just pick what you want interface um subtitles is disabled you can enable this if you want again it's preference introduction movie that's preference as well crosshairs are shown because i like it that way and then all of this is preference as well you uh you guys can go through that uh i'm actually gonna switch this on shown gpu time shown shown what's that box shown okay um yeah so that's interface and then if you're on a controller you know the settings would be for you i don't play on controllers so i cannot help you guys there and then this is just the activation uh settings which is not relevant right now so yeah there you go guys that's basically the graphic settings and um the audio interface settings if you have any questions let me know um i'll try to help you guys as best as i can if you're just cruising by the channel and still happen to stumble upon this video please consider subscribing um and i'll see you guys next time peace